Harry made every mob creepy in Minecraft. Let's turn this ghast creepy by making it ancient. <laughs> we'll stack up some extra body here to make it bigger. Extend those tentacles to be way longer. This creepy ghast needs extra eyes and a huge mouth. Fill that maw full of teeth and get those details just right for a creepy ancient ghast. A ghast itself always freaks me out, but this thing is absolutely creepy. Look at those long tentacles for legs and a face extending all the way forward. Oh my goodness, look at that mouth. I didn't want this thing to eat me, so I gave it something spectacular. This ancient ghast sees these. Oh my goodness, yikes. He's tossing down meteorite, blasting these piglets. Oh my goodness, blue fireballs of doom. This thing also isn't just only hitting the piglets. He's just destroying the entire palace. I'm gonna have to make something equally as creepy. Now let's up the creepy level of this enderman to a dredgerman. First, we'll make the base of the body that we can turn to smoke later. Then we'll get some long curly arms ready for grabbing. Start adding in the blocks for a bunch of extra heads all over. Add in a little shading and enderman eyes and turn that base into a massive smoke that all its limbs and heads are coming out of. Oh boy, yep, absolutely. That is definitely a step up in the wrong direction. Look at the heads coming off of this disgusting beast. Those arms coming out of it look like claws. Look, they're not even connected. That's gross. And its neck just pokes out extra long. Here's some sacrificial husks for you. Oh, what is this? Oh my goodness, it just disappeared and reappeared. That was spectacular. Oh my gosh, it's not even the disappearing and reappearing act. He throws Enderman heads at these husks. I gotta make sure I can keep a handle on these guys. Last thing we want is these experiments going poorly. For a creepy zombie, I'm inspired by the clickers from The Last of Us. That means we need to split open this head with tons of fungus growing out of it. We'll need a lot of blocks sprouting out of its head like so. Then we'll add more green fungus growing out of its body all over. Some on the arms here, a little bit on the legs. Add in a mouth for biting and infecting to make this guy good to go. Now there's good chance this thing freaks me out the most. I've been watching a lot of The Last of Us, and that head looks so realistic. Though I better be a little bit quieter because these things can't see. They can only hear. Slowly sneak around this way. Provide a little distraction. It hears the husk. Stop breathing. Oh my goodness. That was a blast attack and a punch. Oh my goodness. I think that husk is gone. I'm going to make a little bit of distance. Let's turn this normal fish into a creepy spider fish. First We'll start on those legs, all eight of them, and our spider fish will need some pinchers for biting. Fill in those legs with some spider fuzz and add in those extra eyes to up the creepy factor. Should this guy go in the water or the land? Water, land, water? It's a fish, land. Oh my goodness, that's creepy. Look at those legs, it looks like a centipede. Spiders are my worst fear. These guys are giving me goosebumps straight away. And our buddy over here definitely preferred the land over the water. But if these guys bite, I'm running as far as I possibly can because spider bites frighten me terribly. Oh my goodness, watch it climb. The salmon can climb like a spider. He's trying to escape in here, but our experiment is not over. Oh, yep. I knew it. He, he bites. He bites. Not only does he bite, it also poisons the husk. He's biting again. He's not even leaving him with the poison. He keeps biting. Yep, I don't like that one bit. I hate spiders. This rabbit will become our jackalope. Stand this hair up on two legs like so. Give it a little extra length to its height. Now we'll need to adjust those ears to make room for antlers. Add in those antlers sticking out of its head and some real creepy red eyes. Now that is one rabbit you do not want standing above you in the middle of the night. Completely straight up. The most confusing thing about it is that it's actually sort of cute. Especially if you look from the back here. Oh, then it turns around. Yeah, that was definitely creepy. Though I'm not totally sure how well it plays with friends. And so far, our jackalope is just hoppity hopping away. All right, that seems decent. Oh, okay, never mind. He just squished this husk. And the husk walked down when he was squished. Another flat 
Imagine! And the husk goes down. Three jackalope pounces, and you're white. Let's turn this wolf into a creepy shadow hound. First, we'll splash some black on all that white fur and start adding onto its body so it'll look like it's a living shadow when we're done. An extra creepy glowing face and grin to haunt your dreams. Add in some detail on all those shadows, and we'll top it off with a bright red color for man's worst friend. Our dredgerman previously was here and is no longer, but a shadow hound is fairly similar. Also covered in shadow, also creepy face. Still has a collar on, so we could probably... Oh, I don't think we can tame it. I hate how big its smile is. Imagine seeing this hound at the dog park. And then apparently it starts to disappear in the middle of the dog park. Oh, and reappear somewhere else. That's almost exactly like the Dredgerman. Look at this guy. Down he goes. Oh, oh, from underneath a Double attack. Down he goes again. Appearing right under this husk. Yikes. I don't think anybody's gonna volunteer to go put up fencing around this hound. Now we can turn this creeper into a creeping vines monster. Thin out his body for the base stem here. Going to need a much larger head. We'll start adding the roots and leaves that just need a little shaping like so. Now this head needs some eyes and a big mouth full of sharp chomping teeth. Can't forget to finish off those roots for moving and grooving. And with a bunch of thorns, this creeping vines is ready Ready to rock. This looks like a pretty natural habitat for these super creepy vines. Here you go. Oh my gosh, wait a second. Putting these things in the world actually sort of look cute. Except for when you look at the front on the face. Yep, that is not cute. It looks like a massive, ugly Venus flytrap. We might be able to bite a limb off. Oh my gosh. Why do they all look at me like that? And the roots on this thing are completely rotten. But the coolest part is how this thing attacks. Watch as this creeping vine gets close. It expands and explodes needles everywhere. Every single direction, all around 360 degrees. Needles. It's like stepping on a porcupine, but the porcupine comes to you. Ooh. Ouch. Let's turn this phantom into a phantom menace. Take this head and double it. Then we're going to do the same for the wings. We'll lengthen that tail and add an extra fork to make feet. Add some toes and this menace could snatch you up. Free up those wings and it's ready to fly. Those back legs definitely creepified this thing. And the frayed up wings absolutely nasty. Stop putting your head in the blocks. Um, all right, that's enough. Oh gosh. Oh, yikes. Turns out it's actually quite a week. Look, there's three of them. Flam. Flam. Flamski. I think the strategy is that they try to fly up and stay out of harm's way. My goodness gracious. Apparently, if they can, they spit some sort of disgusting poison slime on you. There it is. Yikes. Look at those jaws. As long as you can sneak up on them, though, boom, you can knock one out and then make a run for it so the other one doesn't spit on you. We'll make this sheep into a sheep of many faces. Let's add some extra sheep bodies in every direction. Then we'll give each sheep face a different expression. Along with the happy face, we'll need an evil face, a sad face, a super shocked expression, and an angry yelling face with some super scary teeth and eyes. Let's place this abomination down on this tiny little pasture. We've got our regular face, sort of. Now that is the creepy face or angry face. That is an angry face. And over here, that's the crying face. Oh, that's kind of sad. It's hiding. And on the back, ooh, confused. <laughs> well, let's see what you can do. Oh, it's a spin attack. This sheep spins up into a massive ball of wool. Look at this thing. Spin, 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 wool ball. Like a tornado. And clearly getting hit by that tornado of fur hurts. Now we'll make this little slime into a creepy slime snail. It'll need a super long neck into a big shell. A trail of slime tail behind it. We'll give it some slimy arms to drag itself along the ground. Make sure we've got that extra slimy texture you're going on and some swirls to the shell. This guy is looking gross. This looks like what you'd find in the kitchen if you left a puddle of milk out for like eight months. Starts growing arms. It sort of looks like an alien creature. It's creating blocks of slime every single slither. And on top of that, it's firing out disgusting old slime milk. I wonder if it also has extra protection on that snail shell. 
Uh, nope, it doesn't have any extra protection, that's for sure. Let's turn this golem creepy by making it a broken golem. We'll rearrange some bits and pieces here. Give it some super big eyes. That expression is giving me chills, man. Add some vines atop that too big of a head, and he's ready to go. I think. Now that is a lopsided golem. The nose looks so off where the eyes are that big. One massive pupil one not so massive pupil it looks like an old teddy bear with the eyes popped out of it of course this big beefy broken golem is going to be just as strong as a regular golem and smash everything but on top of that he's got knockback on every single hit which hopefully he'll be able to use on the ancient cast in order to protect our phantom and our snail because those guys went down quick. But let's take your lopsided eyes inside this palace and find out. Ooh, thank goodness our ghast is still in here. But now that we've got all this creepy firepower, I'm ready to not take any chances. Yep, that's disgusting. Get a clicker zombie in here too. Got ourselves our spider fish. The bouncing hopping jackalope. Get a shadow hound next to that friendly dridgerman. You guys should get along. Creeping vines. Phantom menace. Sheep with all of the faces. Our slow slime snail. And of course, our funky broken golem. All right, everybody's fighting very quickly. The sheep is spitting, but not doing much, of course, because wait, they're fighting each other. They just knocked down the broken golem. Why are you guys fighting each other? All these creepy guys can't get along. Oh my goodness, nobody's landed a single hit on this ancient ghast right now. Only our dredgerman can get up there so far. And I don't think any needles from our creeper actually... The dredgerman is knocked. This is gonna be a massacre. Our ancient gas is just angry. Nobody's putting up a real fight. This is the most ludicrous final battle we've ever seen. Our creepy mobs have decided just to go after each other instead of try and take down a common enemy. I've got to do something about this. Can you imagine what these guys are gonna do to the world if they get out? They can't even make peace with each other and they're all creepy. Block it off with bedrock. Completely blocked. Run!